Let me show you how to create Zoom polls. The first thing to do is go to the Zoom website, click on sign in, and sign in. So I'm going to use my Google account to sign in. All right. And once you are signed in, go to settings on the left side and find on this page the poll setting. And the easiest way to do that is to use Command F on your keyboard. Um, or if you're on Windows, it's Control F. And then it should jump you down to the section. I guess it's under in Meeting Basic. Meetings and Polls, Quizzes. Uh, you should turn this on. It's usually a gray pill. It's you know, the white buttons on the left. So you just click on it and turn it into a blue pill. Turn it on. And then go back all the way up to the top of the screen and click on Meetings again. And then go to the meeting where you want to create the poll. Yes, each meeting you have to, uh, each, you could have recurring meetings that have the same poll that you launch again and again, but for each uh, separate meeting you have, it needs to be, you need to create a poll in there. So here's the tricky part. Uh, instead of clicking edit, if you went there, you won't find where the polls are. So instead, you have to click on the title of the meeting itself. Okay, so once I do this, now when I scroll down, I can see that I can create a poll. And you can have 25 polls per meeting. So I'm going to click Create. And then um, let's say I'm asking people their favorite color. You know, what's your favorite color? And you can either make it a single choice or a multiple choice. Multiple choice means they will be able to select more than one answer. So what, whoops, I'm going to click on this again. What's your favorite color? Uh, say it's, you know, red. And then you can press enter. Whoops, no, I'm going to click on choice two. Okay, uh, green. And then you can add more choices. Um, blue. Uh, okay, and let's say, and you can add more, but let's say that you want to move choices around uh, in the order of, of it. So you could just click and drag the right-hand side. And I'm going to just move blue up to the top. There you go, blue's at the top now. And you can add a second question or a third question as part of a single poll that you launch. The nice thing about Zoom polls is that when you launch the poll, the Zoom attendees will see the poll pop up right in front of their screen on Zoom. So they don't have to go anywhere else to take the poll. And then you can also, after the poll, you can share the results with everybody uh, in the meeting. What I like to use it for, um, oh, I'm going to just finish this here. Before you click Save, uh, click on untitled pull up here so that you can name it something that's obvious to you so color okay for example i'm going to click and you could type multiple words if you want but i'm just going to say color click save and there we are now one more thing i want to show you is uh, when you go when you go back in into the poll uh, you can also click the three dots you could have done this earlier too um, to click on the checkbox that says allow participants to answer questions anonymously which means that you won't be able to know who answered what option and they will feel more safe that their answer is anonymous. But in many cases, it, you don't have to do this. Uh, your participants probably don't mind uh, knowing uh, that you know their name and what choice they made. But in case you need to, that's there. Okay, so um, if you click the three dots out here, you can delete the poll. You could duplicate the poll so you could just change the options that way. Um, I'll just tell you how I, my favorite thing to do with a poll is if I received uh, a lot of questions before a Zoom meeting and I could put those questions into a poll and say, hey, you know, uh, which, uh, let's say I, I was able to answer, I timed it out, I was able to answer two questions in that meeting, then, then I'd say, which, which two questions would you most like me to answer? And then I would give them a multiple choice, uh, how to, uh, use Zoom polls. Okay. Um, you know, um, how to do social media marketing, whatever. Okay. That's one of the things I teach, but, uh, you could just, you could do it that way. And then, um, the nice thing is if they vote on the questions they want you to answer, whether it's one question or two questions or whatever you, you decide here, make sure, by the way, of course, to re to name the poll, which question. Okay. Um, by doing this, uh, you essentially have the approval of your attendees to address 
the most popular questions because they will see what the results are and that makes it easy for you as the facilitator or teacher to say well i've got the the you know the group's um uh, agreement essentially that uh, we're going to answer these two questions and then we'll answer more if there are time so that's a nice way of using zoom polls anyway i hope this was helpful and if you have any other tips for zoom polls uh, please comment below or any questions i can try to answer it briefly if uh when i have time so thank you so much for watching this and um i hope this helps